on the uh, side of the structure of the model. It is now a recognized benchmark. It is a mature and stable model. Uh, it covers 141 countries this year, representing uh, over 95% of the world population and close to 99% of the world GDP. So it can be considered as uh, having a very good coverage. Uh, regarding the, uh, the rankings, what we see is stability at the top. Uh, we have uh, Switzerland number one, we have the UK uh, number two, followed by Sweden, the Netherlands and the US, which is fairly close to what we had uh, last year. But if we go further, further down the, the rankings, we see that there is significant dynamism, especially among developing countries. So at the top, stability is striking. We have, for instance, Switzerland number one for the fifth consecutive year. Uh, we also have the UK, uh, who is second for the second consecutive year. Uh, this uh, relies very much on a performance which is excellent across all pillars. We observe that indeed the countries at the top are not uh, outpacing everybody in one pillar and lagging uh, on some others. They are performing well on all facets of innovation. Among the uh, middle-income countries, we see a very interesting dynamics. Uh, basically, we consider three subgroups. In the upper middle income, we have uh, China, 29th. Uh, we have Vietnam, also uh, outperforming their peers and showing remarkable uh, dynamism in the area of innovation. Uh, in the middle uh, of that group, uh, the lower middle income, uh, we have also significant dynamism uh, if we consider countries like uh, Moldova, for instance, uh, showing uh, very interesting things uh, which translate the impact of innovation policies. And even uh, uh, for the lower segment of that uh, income group, if we look, for instance, at sub-Saharan Africa, uh, we have a number of countries, including Senegal, including Rwanda, uh, who indeed are also uh, outperforming their, their peers. So uh, if we compare the, the performance of these countries to their average uh, income groups, uh, we, have, we see good news. Uh, we have reasons to think that uh, indeed their success uh, can be replicated in those income groups and we are going to see even more good news uh, as we continue publishing GII in the coming years.